All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to build a drag and drop interaction. So years ago, if you were an instructional designer and you wanted to build a drag and drop interaction, it either required that you could do the programming for it or that you had access to a person who could program that for you. But if you didn't have those skills or didn't have access to those resources, then you couldn't build a drag and drop. So if you were an instructional designer and you were building a course, um, if you didn't have those resources, you never even considered drag and drop interactions in the development of your course. And that's what I think is so cool about the industry today. So today, I don't need to worry about whether or not I can build a drag and drop because I'll show you, you can build a drag and drop interaction in really just a couple of minutes. Now the question is, okay, I can build a drag and drop. Uh, where's the most appropriate time for, or when's the most appropriate time for me to do that? Uh, wh what are the best types of interactions? What are the best learning experiences? I can craft with that. So instead of worrying about whether or not you can build a drag and drop interaction, now you can begin the conversation around uh, when it's most appropriate to include them in your course. In this tutorial, I'll show you how easy it is to build a drag and drop. So you can see that the, that wall's been torn down. So what we have here right now is basically just a slide. So if I preview this slide, it's just a static slide. There's nothing on it. There's nothing um, unique about this slide other than the the, the way it looks. So let's go ahead and convert this to a drag and drop. So what we have here is we've got some notes and I'll make these documents. Uh, they're just generic, but we'll make these the, the draggable objects. And then we've got our drop target. So I just put a hotspot here and I titled it drop target. Typically when you're building e-learning courses or drag and drop interactions, uh, you need something that's draggable and then it, it needs a place to go and that's your drop target. So uh, we have our draggable objects and then we have our drop target. Um, what we need to do now is actually uh, create the drag and drop. So I'm going to go to insert. We have this convert to freeform option. So I'm going to click that, choose drag and drop, hit OK. Now what that does is it opens a form. So what we can do is on one side of the form we choose what do we want to make draggable. And what we're going to do is we're going to make all four of these documents draggable. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the notes. And it doesn't matter if they're right or wrong choices. The fact that um, their choices, we want to make them all draggable. Um, the right or wrong is we'll determine here on the drop target. So let's just make number one and number four uh, correct. So those will have the correct drop target here. So we're going to choose the drop target. I titled this drop target so it's easy for me to see. So I've got that. These two don't have a drop, drop target. Now if we think about it, they're all going to be draggable, but only two of them are correct. And so these two that are draggable are distractors. So they get you to possibly make a mistake or it forces you to, to, to pay attention and, and understand exactly um, the, the correct versus the incorrect. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and keep everything else uh, by default. So I'm going to hit save and close. Now if we preview this, what was a static slide now is a slide with drag and drop. So I'm going to go ahead. I'll just put all of them on here. And you can see I hit submit and I get my feedback. All that's built by the software. If we replay it, let's go ahead and uh, we'll put the correct ones in here. Hit submit and then we got correct feedback. And then I could change the expression of the character and, and those things as well. But the essence of this tutorial is to show you that uh, building drag and drop interactivity is pretty simple today. So now it's just a matter of when uh, is it appropriate to your learning experience.